Hello, Taylor. Hello, hello. Good morning. You look like you got a beautiful view. Yeah, the beach is literally right there. Whatever. It's insane. Are you in LA? Yeah, I'm in LA. I'm at the um, Edition in uh, West Hollywood. How's the heat wave for you? Not too bad. It rained earlier, so it was kind of like a nice yeah, little right. reprieve. It got cozy, yeah. and then I came down here, and it was gone, so I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have Where the Crawdads Sing coming out. So how do you feel? It's a big movie. Yeah, no, I'm super, super excited. It's the, I don't know, the response from everybody has been really incredible. Getting to, you know, respond to messages and stuff on Instagram and seeing how the, you know, the movie impacted them. And um, yeah. especially now that it's international, like everybody from, you know, different countries getting to reach out and me trying to decipher, you know, their their text and like Google Translate it and find out it's something positive. It's It's really nice. And when a book becomes a movie, like obviously like TikTok, you've probably seen like it's already blowing up on TikTok. So are you kind of like kind of, like waiting for this big wave to come through? Because I'm sure Is you're it literally blowing up on blow TikTok. Up. I don't have yeah. a TikTok. So I I guess I'll have to get my my sister to like send me something. But that's so cool. No, I didn't know yeah. that. Um, yeah, there's a whole wave of like, you know, the younger generation that like lives, eats, breathes on that app. So uh I'm I'm that's really cool to find out that it's blown up on there as well. You should get TikTok just when it comes out because I'm sure like your character yourself will blow up. Like TikTok's gonna do wonders to you. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> did you read the book before you find out you got casted, or did you read it after, or so, not at all? When I found out I was gonna be like auditioning for it and doing the chemistry with Daisy, um, I was in Australia at the time and I couldn't get access to uh, like a bookstore because of COVID. Um, and so I downloaded the, the audible version of it and was listening to the audiobook on like one and a half times speed just because I had like two days to prepare, which is not the move, by the way. Um, <laughs> they do all the accents and stuff on the on the book and it just sounded like mosquitoes, you know, yeah. trying to talk to each other. But uh, I you know, got to listen to half of it. And then when I when I got the job, I got to uh, finish the, the book on the plane on the way home. And it was like I, I understood why it had impacted so many people. And it was um such an incredible read and a good read knowing you booked it so like finishing the yeah. book is no problem like you're like <laughs> yeah, oh, i'm gonna exactly. be the star in this movie 100 <laughs> percent. now you had reese witherspoon like on set with you a lot of the times and she had nothing but good things to say about you on tiktok so uh what was it like being around her like an icon she she's just so like she's always working and and i mean that in the nicest way possible she's always trying to like figure out how to make something better um and she's like one of those one of those actresses who like turned into this mogul that didn't lose that that charm and that like just southern hospitality that she brings with her everywhere she goes like she knew everybody's name on set um but she was constantly trying to like game the movie to make it better like try to make it right. as loyal to the book as possible but how can we make these characters richer um how can we tell the story in a more elevated way and uh, it was cool to see her work i was very inspired by it yeah and it's cool because a lot of the comments too on like the trailer and everything were that I've never seen like a movie match the book so well because usually obviously you go off like different ways yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, that's like really nice that she like made sure like that it stayed true to itself, you know. Absolutely. And if you, okay, so say you were in the movie and okay. you uh, were just watching as a fan, who do you think killed Chase? And were, are you glad like she's guilty, not guilty? We won't spoil oh, anything. Oh, man. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Honestly, at the end, I hope I can talk about this and Katie, end the Zoom if I'm not allowed to, but because uh, the movie's already been out. But um, I honestly thought I did it. At the end of it, I, I thought like, you know, he very cowardly. I thought Tate would have like, you know, done it, but not like er, like owned up to to having done it to protect Kaya. But I don't I was also thinking he wouldn't let her go through this entire, you know, courtroom drama uh yeah. you know knowing that he did it so i i think he really wondered if he if it was either an accident or if she really had it in her and uh i think it was a surprise to everybody at the end when when they found out yeah and seeing like a younger you and then the older version of you obviously it's not really you yeah. but it's a kind of weird scene on screen that like because they looked very similar to you it's like wild. that could have actually been you and maybe you when you're old <laughs> yeah no everyone was like oh my god that's what you're gonna look like when you're older and sam was just like really sweet cute old man and i was like <laughs> if i if i'm as charming as him when i'm older i think i did something right so good casting <laughs> And okay, so Taylor Swift has an original song in the movie. So, what is your favorite Taylor Swift song? 
Uh, I love the, especially the music video portion of it all too well, the 10 minute version. I was like obsessed with it because it was like watching a film. Yeah, it really was. The media had a field day with that because it was so long. Like people were like, (laughs) oh my God, like this is is too much. People went off. (laughs) And when you like behind the scenes moment, did you like, what do you, like what was kind of like the vibe behind the scenes? Because obviously you have such a serious movie. Was it like lighthearted? Like how was it? I mean, having Daisy as like a partner in crime during the entire time was, it felt like we were at summer camp. Honestly, like when we weren't filming, we were just making each other laugh and and giggle to the point where Livy, our director, had to separate us a few times. Just like, hey guys, like stay focused because we just have fun. (laughs) We were in this beautiful, beautiful place in New Orleans and we're there for a couple months and um, just getting to bond together and and, uh, have these wonderful experiences and then turning into little kids when the camera's not rolling is exactly what you want, especially for a movie with, um, you know, heavy themes and, uh, and elements in it. Yeah. And with Daisy, had you met her? Did you meet like first day on set, a chemistry read? When did you first meet chemistry her? Chemistry mo- over Zoom, something like we're doing right now. Um, and she was just as charming and wonderful. And I was like, God, I hope I get to work with her. Uh, and then I, when I met her in person for the first time she like ran over and jumped on me and gave me a hug and that was like that's oh. so cute yeah, you're like, like i love it here this is gonna I be do, great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you have like a movie that's just like such an intense as this one in the plot and everything is it kind of hard to like once filming's wrapped to detach yourself from the character like does it take you if you are you're pretty good at from like i'm pretty good at like it. you know not taking my work home with me in, in that way um I think you have to be, you have to learn to like detach yourself when it's over, but you do miss everybody involved. That's, that's probably much yeah. harder than, um, you know, moving on from the characters is moving on from the people. Yeah. Well, congratulations. And thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so Hopefully much. Hopefully you get a TikTok. Oh my God. I know. It's so hot. And <laughs> good luck with the rest of your interviews. <laughs>